When you flush your toilet, turn on the tap, or take a shower, water, wastewater that flows from your home, travels through 300 miles of infrastructure to the Ventura Water Reclamation Facility, where it gets treated. We're going to take a tour and find out exactly how. Ventura Water's Eric Miller took us on a tour of the Water Reclamation Facility today, and we kind of hung out with the CAPS TV students along the way. When the wastewater coming from our home gets to this plant, what happens to it? Our collection system spans the entire city of Ventura, um, from as far away as Satakoy and uh, parts of the Montalvo area, all the way up to the top of the avenue area, um, and everything in between. Uh, there are a few isolated places in there that are still antiseptic, but that's the vast majority you know, of Ventura's wastewater is residential, and so it comes from the entire span of the city of Ventura. I understand there are five phases for cleaning the water. What are they? The water first arrives and it comes in at the influent pump station. At the influent pump station, we uh, try and remove the inorganic material that would compromise or get in the way of further treatment of it. Um, that's the first step that we do in cleaning and, and getting the wastewater moving through the plant. The second step is the activated sludge process, which consists of aeration, secondary said tanks and denitrification or nutrient removal as the correct term would be. Um, the water flows up there, we, uh, we, we bubble some air through it to hyperactivate the bugs and put them to work for us, so to speak. And um, not only do we treat the solid part of the waste, but we also convert the ammonia that comes in as the wastewater there. And then in the uh, nutrient removal section, we denitrify that ammonia, which has been converted to nitrate. We denitrify it, which makes our uh, water meet not only the, what the state mandates as safe, but also uh, helps keep the, the outfall clear of, of algae and, and things like that. And where does the water go after it's treated? After the activated sludge plant, the water gets filtered through some gravity filters, and then, um, then it's sent on up for disinfection. We use chlorine to disinfect the water. It's very uh, very thorough, very accomplished method of disinfection. And then we delete the chlorine or, or oblate the chlorine by uh, adding a small amount of sulfur dioxide so we're not putting chlorine out. The water um, then approximately 9 million gallons a day treated in the plant. On a good warm summer day, two, maybe two and a half million gallons as much can go to the golf courses and the Marina Park area. Um, the remainder goes into the uh, river estuary, the Santa Clara River estuary for uh, disposal. What types of things do you test for in the water? Uh, there's so many things that are tested for at, at so, many, so many spots along the way. Um, the big ones, we test for the pH of the water. It, it's, we try and get it as close to neutral, so to speak, as we can of 7.0. Um, we test to make sure that it's bacteriologically clean. Um, we do that by a multi-tube fermentation in our own enclosed lab here. Um, we also test the strength of the wastewater, i.e. how much BOD, how much oxygen demand, how much life is there in the water. Um, those tests are every single day. Um, at greater intervals, we test so many other constituents and, and literally every pesticide, every metal, every potentially hazard compound you can think of gets tested at least once every year. How long has the plant been operational? The plant's been here in, uh, in one guise or another since, um, I think, 1959. Of course, it more or less washed away with the flood in 1969, so it's been extensively rebuilt. And in the 15 years that I've been here, we've put in three new structures or three new processes. Uh, we have a new headworks, a new influent pump station. We have flow equalization, and then our newest is the uh, nutrient removal. There's been a lot of talk about using cleaned wastewater as our drinking water. A lot of folks say, ooh, when they hear that. What do you have to say? Every drop of water on this planet has been consumed by something so many times that it's all wastewater. Um, nature has its own way of purifying things throughout time. Um, we simply provide a better atmosphere to do that, and we test it to make sure. So I, for one, would have no problems at all with properly treated direct potable reuse water. I think it's the way to go.
sustainableventura.tv for a better tomorrow.